Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and today we're at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference and I'm very thrilled to be joined by Dr. Bill Brinkman, who's a leading aortic specialist at Baylor Scott & White, the Heart Hospital in Plano, Texas. Dr. Brinkman, thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me. So we're going to be talking today about one of your specialties, which is the Ross procedure. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's very dear to my heart because 17 years ago, I had a Ross procedure performed. I understand that you're just completing some really new research with 200 or so patients about your series and how the Ross procedure has performed. Can you share with our community what you have found in this research? Yeah, it's very exciting, the long-term follow-up on our Ross series. Basically, in summary, these people do very well long-term, and their survival parallels the normal survival of an average person without aortic disease in the population. It's the only valve operation that actually does that. If you look at mechanical valves or bioprosthetic valves, there's a little bit of price to pay. I think uh, the gradients across the, the aortic valve or the new aortic valve are superior. You have a living valve in your aortic root with normal gradients that could heal itself. It's superior as far as the long-term outcomes. Occasionally and, and rarely we do have reoperations in the Ross procedure, so we analyze that also. And what we found is that people who have a reoperation on their Ross, many times we can spare the autograft, keep that same living valve working, and keep it in there and they don't have to be on Coumadin. And they stay on that same survival curve which is superior to the bioprosthetic and even the mechanical valve. There's going to be a lot of patients watching this with aortic valve disease who might be considering the Ross procedure. What's your advice for them? Well, I'd say read up on it. There's a lot of information out there on your, your site and places like that. And I would go to a comprehensive valve center where there's a surgeon or a group of surgeons who are definitely interested in the Ross and have a track record with the Ross because it is a complex procedure, but if done well, it's a beautiful thing. Um, it just depends on your anatomy and other factors, whether you're a good candidate for the Ross or not. Well, Dr. Brinkman, on behalf of all the patients at heartvalvesurgery.com and patients all over the world, I can't thank you and your team enough for all the wonderful things you're doing at Baylor Scott & White, the Heart Hospital Plano. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.